main menu. So you can see you can swipe to the left or to the right to see various different apps. Um, it's pretty much grouped quite well actually. So you, the first screen is your music, your Bluetooth, your settings and your navigation alongside the original um, system that's built into the car. I'd say that for the most part these are the four main apps you'll use on a day to day. Maybe not so much settings although I have popped in and out of there recently because I've just set it up. Um, as you scroll to the right you've got CarPlay which actually isn't installed. Um, I have an Android so I, there's no need for me to install it. The app is installed but not the hardware that you need in order to activate it. You've got your apps which is all of the apps that you download onto the Android device. Off screen is pretty much self-explanatory, just turn the screen off. NTD setup is something which you have to set up at the beginning when you firstly put the screen in. It just goes through all the settings um, to get it set up for your particular model, make and vehicle. Um, then you've got your dashboard, and your dashboard is where you, um, I'll show you, it's pretty much just your speedometer and your rev count. Um, so if I come out of that, so if you go to apps, so something that I've heard a lot of people complain about is the sound quality. Um, I haven't experienced that, I, as you can see the music's playing. Um, I haven't experienced that. I, had, I did have to play with the equaliser at first and since I've done that the sound quality is perfect as you can hear. So I'm actually playing music off Spotify at the moment. You can download music to the vehicle, um, but that's not really how I play my music. I normally just stream it off Spotify anyway, or YouTube. So if you go into music, I haven't loaded anything, but there are, it comes with samples, um, just to prove that it works, I guess. So it's just a demo. But again, you can just load them in through the memory card in the back, it's not a problem at all. Um, navigation is pretty cool. I've got it default to um, Google Maps, which is what I use on a daily basis anyway. So as you can see, it just loads up with everything as you would normally see on your Android device. Um, if I just put a destination in, so as you can see, as soon as I've clicked in to enter destination, it brings up with my last destinations, the most recent ones I've used also with my home and work address. But if I pick a random address here, you can see it comes up with the location first and you click directions and then start. Again, it's what you would normally expect from Android, so there's you know there's no surprises here. The only good thing is that it's built into your vehicle. Um, if you click this arrow here, you can then select Show Satellite Map if you choose. Some people don't actually like using it because they think it's distracting. But as you can see, you've got the normal satellite view as well. So if you recenter it, let's switch it off. So if I cancel that now. Home button, Bluetooth. Now it does have its uh, built-in Bluetooth as well. I don't actually use it. I use the Bluetooth that's built into my vehicle. Um, it's just more of a preference thing than, rather than anything. But you do have Bluetooth built into the screen as well, so you could connect to the screen. Some people may choose to use the screen only. Um, I jump between using my screen and the system that's in my vehicle, and that's the best thing about this screen is that you can very quickly jump back to your old system if you choose to. Um, I think where it's still a new system I haven't totally 
stopped using the old system. I think I probably will as time goes on and maybe start using the Bluetooth that's built onto the uh, screen. One thing I would say though is before you actually install this screen into the, um, you know, into this casing, make sure that you put the SIM card and the memory card in first because they're on the right hand side here. It's alright if you've got a left hand, left hand drive vehicle but because I have a right hand side vehicle I'm unable to access these two areas here so make sure you put it in before you actually install it. Something to remember is the SIM card tray and the SD card tray are on the right hand side of the screen so if you're installing this in a right hand drive vehicle ensure that you place the SIM card and the SD card in before you actually install this device the reason why I say so is it's extremely difficult to try and locate these slots once it's installed I think where this unit is is used on both left hand and right hand vehicles it's perfectly fine if you have a left hand drive but as a result of it being a right hand it just becomes quite tedious